In this video, I will be sharing with you the difference between Creator Studio, Business Manager and also Business Suite. So if you're not sure what's the difference and what's the features that's inside of them, this video will really help you out. So do continue watching. And without further ado, no point of me explaining without showing you. So just jump into my computer so that I can show you exactly what are the differences between these three. Let's go. All right. First of all, let's go to Creator Studio because most of the contamination will be done in Creator Studio. First of all, you go to your page. You can go to publishing tools. I have a video where you can create a post for both Facebook and Instagram at the same time. It is at it's on the link above, so just have a look. So now when you're at the publishing tools, you go to Creator Studio. Just click on Creator Studio and then you will open the Creator Studio in Facebook. Alternatively, you can just go to facebook.com slash creator studio and it will bring you to creator studio itself because i park all into business manager so that's why you can see business.facebook.com so creator studio is the place where you manage your content if you want to find other pages you just have to click here then just type the pages that you want to find and then just click view you can select then only click view right so you can see it is all here uh, there's a recent post insights and post there's notifications there's also pre-published pre-published are for things that is scheduled or draft so you can put it all here it can be seen all here uh, there's published which are the content that you have already published next is content library which is all the content that you can put it in and then this is for you to to check right video you can cross post and things like that right just have a look into here and the insights uh, this is something that I like about the insights here which is it's more detailed compared to the insights that you have from your page itself so for you, when you go to the page itself you just have to go to the insights and you notice that the, the insights there are not so much information you still need to do a lot of clicking then in here so this one you can just have a look on, on this uh, important thing for me is that you get to check the date period be sure you are a bit tough on checking the dates because you only have 28 days so in Creator Studio you can use the insights page to have a look right uh, next, so there's a performance, call to action, there's all these here, just have a look on yourself. And also there's Inbox Plus, this is where you manage all your inbox for Facebook and also Instagram page, right? So you can see here, then there's monetization as well. If your page is monetized, so just have a look into this. Uh, you need to meet a certain eligibility for it to be monetized, which is great. That means you can monetize your content not only in YouTube, but also in Facebook as well. And this is the page settings, you can do page settings here choose a page and things like that and then there's page quality these are all you can find it here as well you can see resources but I don't have access to resources so this is like a very good place for you to check out your content and also to check out your inbox other than checking it from the page itself now back to business manager so business manager are more towards on advertising part all right so there's ads manager ads reporting and event manager because I, I didn't link uh, any ad account into here so you cannot check but I just have a look into here there's a very distinct difference between business manager and creator studio creator studio are mostly for content which which is important as well, right? Uh, there's some saying content is king, but marketing is queen, right? You need the queen to support the content. So that's the reason why uh, Business Manager is more towards advertising part. Now, some pages they have this, which is the Business Suite, right? I have a video to show how to transition between Business Manager and Business Suite. So you can just have a look in one of the link here, right? And you can access from page as well. You just go to your page. And this button called business suite now for business suite not all facebook account have it yet i know some people that don't have access to business suite but fortunately i have access to it so it's easier for me to do some posting as well and i find it easier to post from here but to manage and to see more insights business suite are still quite not so good in terms of insights now just have a look at the insights you need to explore see which kind of uh, reporting that you like personally i think the, the insights for the business suite need a bit of work because it is very difficult to report on certain things when you want to report it to customers especially on when it's limited days and things like that so I, I would suggest that, that it will be better to do it in Creator Studio or Ads Manager right? so what's so special about Business Suite? Business Suite is like a combination of Creator Studio and Business Manager it's supposed to be a place where in the future both Creator Studio and Business Manager will be rolled out and everything will be using Business Suite which I think it's alright, you have one dashboard to manage everything in fact that in case instead of having a lot in fact phone they also roll out business suite as well they, they remove the Facebook page app and then they change it to business suite and I think moving forward they are moving all it here all of them here and also the messages all they can manage all in here as well right all the inbox can manage here as well so there's even activities they can check and there's calendar 
where you can check the posting. So I have not been posting regularly for this page. So at least you can see on month wise, you can see the what kind of post that have been posted. So which is good. You have calendar, it'll be easier for you to check as well what kind of posts you can and you can plan as well, right? So you can see to create posts, you just have to click create post. And then you can see that post creation here and the post creation in Creator Studio are different. When you should create new, create post. And how about when you create posts using page, right? So you see, easily create posts, schedule or save. I think my page cannot cannot schedule. Get more insights off on Creator Studio. Because if you put your things here, let's just check the difference, right? Create posts from your page. You see there's a lot of difference, right? There's some difference here compared to what we have in Creator Studio. Even the activities that you have also is different, right? And how about you look at Business Suite? Business Suite is totally different. The, the way they do it is a bit different. So uh, I think they are more straightforward. And But uh, there's of course feeling activities that all put it into nice looking part here and you can post both at the same time. So again, I have a video on how to post both Instagram and Facebook at the same time. So I'm not going to dwell on it too long. So yeah, you can see it's a bit different, right? But Creator Studio is they're having a new composer soon, which is great. And also for Creator Studio, if you want to check Instagram, you have to click on the Instagram here. That makes it different, difficult because you have to check both time, Facebook and Instagram, right? For Facebook Suite, they want to make it everything into one page. For example, if you link your Facebook to Instagram, I also have another video on how you link your Instagram to your Facebook. So when you have a video on that, then you can just have a look at the video and see how you can link them, right? Once you link them, then at least you can easily see all inside your business suite as well. So everything is quite here and then there's posts and stories. This is similar as, as what you see in the content library here. There's posts, stories, feed and greet, and also photos. So feed and greet are what you see in the feed, right? Now the thing that about this that I know Instagram have, have rolled out real. So for reels, you are not able to post it in Business Suite or Creator Studio. You can only use it with your phone for now. So I'm not sure in future how it will be like. So yeah, so for now, not, not able to. Now for example, okay, now back to Business Suite. Uh, for now, you go to, for example, now post and stories. Now you go to ads. So this is where you can see the ads, uh, which I, I didn't have it because I did not link it here. But you can see some ads manager. But end of the result, end of the day, the results you see have to look in ads manager. And you won't be able to see it here, right? I think ads manager is just a must if you're running ads for Facebook. And no one should tell you no one that, right? As I mentioned on the insights just now, I compare the insights between this and Creator Studio. I still prefer. I think I think this needs some improvement on Facebook side, right? The settings as well. So the, these settings are same, similar to Facebook business setting, but Facebook business setting got more business manager settings. For example, if I go to here, I go to business settings. So ob obviously, this page have more information to edit. Okay, now obviously business settings have more things you need to set because this is to deal with business, to deal with integration and things like that. Where else these business suites are just for a, a more standard kind of business settings. But I assume that most of this will be coming to here in the future, uh, just as of now, no. So you can see more business settings. When you click on here, you will go to business settings here. All the information will still be here. So there, there's still a lot of cross things going on. The thing that don't, for between business manager and business, set, business suite, there's still a lot of crossing going on. The only thing is Creator Studio is totally separate, but they want to integrate it together. So that's what makes it different. So there's all these tools as well. All these tools, when you click on it, they'll just open a new page. So it's exactly the same like how you would manage it in Business Manager. So there's nothing much to worry on that, right? Uh, help, uh, if there's a key feedback and things like that. So in terms of usability, I still think that if you have Business Suite, just maintain it at Business Suite. And then once you have Business Suite, then just keep using it because I think it, it's quite good to start for now. Especially I like the create post thing, which is easier than for me than Creator Studio. Uh, but of course there's limitation between all of them. Even when you create posts using your mobile as well, you will notice that's a bit different. Uh, they have additional information like create GIF, right? You can see in your mobile when you create posts in your page, but you cannot see it in Creator Studio and you cannot see it in Business Suite. But anyway, when you create a GIF, it will turn into video anyway. So yeah. So this is a good place for you to manage. So yeah, so this is actually the difference between Creator Studio, Business Manager, and Business Suite. So let me just recap. So Creator Studio are mostly for content only. They are all for content management, whether for Facebook or Instagram. So you have separate tab here. Business Manager is for like advertising, all the backend related stuff to the Facebook advertising part. And Business Suite is just trying to combine between Creator Studio and Business Manager. So in future, they might want to deal away. Business Manager is still Business Manager, but it's just changed name to Business Suite. So I think they want to deal with Business Manager and they combine Creator Studio and Business Manager. So most probably these two will be out after a few months or few or years, right? We don't know when they roll out because not all pages have Business Suite yet. Yep, so that is the difference. Yep, that is the difference between those three. 
you find this information or whatever that I share is relevant to you, do consider liking this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to put in the comment section below. And if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Ken and I talk a lot about digital marketing entrepreneurship. And if you're interested in these kind of topics, do consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that, I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.